Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Colton, and in today's video, we're gonna do another color comparison between camera models so that we can see what kind of color difference there is between a CCD sensor and a CMOS sensor. Now, I've done this test before, but in the previous test, I used what I had available, which was the Olympus E500 with its Kodak CCD sensor versus the Sony A7 Mark III with its Sony CMOS sensor. And the results were definitely very noticeable. If you wanna check out that video, please do. Um, but I got some great feedback in the comments afterwards, um, mostly which were around color science. And absolutely color science plays a factor. It may even play the most important factor in determining color. And so the question is, were the results because of the sensor differences or because of the manufacturer's color science differences? So the recommendation was to shoot this test within the same camera brand. And probably the best version of that would be to shoot within the exact same series of cameras. So if I have the Olympus E500 with the CCD sensor, then compare that with the Olympus E510 with a Panasonic Live MOS, you know, CMOS type sensor. Um, and that way it would be the same brand, same model of camera, and just a different sensor. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get a 510 or a 520, which is another uh, model that they offer, but I do have an Olympus OMD EM10 Mark III, which is still within the Olympus brand and has the same sensor size. So we'll be comparing the E500 to the OM10, OMD EM10 Mark III and we'll control everything as best we can. We'll never get all the variables because I am not a scientist, but we will be using studio lighting. We'll be controlling what light is, is here, setting the white balance, both cameras and on our different lights. Uh, we'll be using a tripod so that the shots are as matched up as possible and even using the same lens on both cameras. So I do have an adapter for the, um, mirrorless camera so that we can use the same lens that the E500 will be using. Um, so hopefully that will sort of narrow down everything to where the only difference is the two sensors as best as possible. Now, another complaint was that we used Lightroom. We are still gonna use Lightroom for this um, sort of experiment. Um, and that's just because I use Lightroom. That's a real world example for myself. And that's what I'm actually going to see when I use this. I'm not going to use Olympus's proprietary software. I'm not gonna use Sony's proprietary software. And pretty much everyone I know is using Lightroom or Capture One, even professionals that I've worked with on various different jobs also just use Lightroom or Photoshop or Capture One. They don't use the proprietary software. so. Um, that's what we're going to do as far as this experiment goes. But as far as predictions on the result, I think what we will see is that the newer Olympus camera with its CMOS sensor will have better color than what we saw with the Sony camera, but I think it still won't quite be as good as the CCD sensor and sort of the output that we get from the E500. So that's gonna be my prediction going into this. We will take some photos, we'll get three different colorful settings that I've set up and we'll photograph those and then we'll compare them in Lightroom and then we'll discuss the results after. So without further ado, let's go to our micro studio that I've set up and take some photos.
All right, everyone, welcome to the computer. We are now going to look at the three shots that we took side by side. So on the right hand side, we have the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark III with the CMOS sensor. And on the left hand side, we have the Olympus E500 with the CCD sensor. And just looking at these two, you know, sort of not zoomed in, they look very similar, almost identical. And this is kind of surprising to me because, again, I thought that the Olympus, you know, sort of CMOS sensor camera was going to be more muted and kind of washed out, not nearly as badly as the A7 was in our previous test, but I did think there would be a noticeable difference. And just looking at these completely zoomed out, I would actually say that the EM10 with the CMOS sensor kind of pops a little bit more in some of these colors. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we zoom in a bit here, very similar between the two. Now, we are going to see a resolution difference because we're you know working with twice as many megapixels on the the newer camera but resolution aside just looking at the colors i would say our cooler colors like this blue this purple this green they look pretty much identical um in these fruit or they're not actually fruits but these fruit loops um, even on the back side, I think very similar. There might be a slight color balance difference, um, but it also could just be the resolution, but very similar. When we get over to the warmer colors, I think our red is slightly different. This red is a little bit more of like a traditional red, and this other red is just barely more magenta, I think. Just barely. Enough to see it, but only when really, really looking for it. Uh, the orange looks pretty much the same, but the real one is the yellow. And if you look at this yellow here versus this yellow, this one is a little bit more of like a prime yellow. It's a little brighter in color. And this one is a little bit more washed out, a little bit more of like a pastel or like a gold sort of yellow. And, and it is noticeable between these two. The rest of the colors here all look pretty much the same, but, but these two particular Fruit Loops look a bit different. And I'm not sure which one looks more accurate, um, but just a small, a small difference there. I will also say on the orange for the spoon, the, the CMOS side looks a little lighter and the CCD side looks a bit darker in terms of how this um, orange is being sort of uh, rendered here. Um, looking down at the green paper, very similar. I think similarly, it's a bit kind of a brighter green and a little bit more of a washed out green um, on on the CCD side. I think I actually kind of prefer the CMOS version of the of this green at least. And if we jump over to the Fruit Loops box, I think they look very similar, but again, this yellow really stands out to me as being just kind of a brighter, more prime traditional yellow and a little bit more washed out, but kind of also more of a golden kind of yellow on the, the CCD side. The red also kind of pops a little different in, in terms of the contrast between the colors. So I'm, I'm very surprised by that. I'm not sure that I like this yellow more than that yellow but I just noticed the difference between those two. The rest of the colors are very similar. All right, we're at our next photo that we took of our colorful gummies. 
on our blue paper. And um, for this shot, again, you know, essentially CCD sensor on the left, CMOS sensor on the right. And there is a difference looking at them. Um, this side kind of seems more saturated than this other side. Now, one thing worth noting is I think both cameras kind of got the blue background wrong. This background is a bit too purplish. Like it's a really dark blue, but it also feels like it's kind of skewing purple. Not as bad as the Sony. The Sony literally made it purple, which was really surprising to see. Um, but this sort of reminds me of that. Um, and then this color, a bit more lighter in color. I think probably it's a little lighter than the actual paper was. So neither side perfectly nailed that blue, but at least they're both blue. These two greens are pretty much the same. This one on the CMOS side might be a hair darker, but otherwise the green looks pretty much the same. The blue Again, maybe a hair darker on the, the right, but very much the same. The red really even pretty much looks the same, but it's this yellow that once again is popping out. Again, more of a prime kind of traditional yellow on the right and a, a bit more of a pastel or even like kind of golden, uh, almost headed towards orange on, uh, or peach. Peach is a really good um reference for what this yellow looks like and i think realistically it's the one on the right hand side that is probably closer to how that yellow actually looks so i did make a minor adjustment to um the color temperature because they were very different and now they are fairly similar with that slight adjustment so um i would say there is still one area that stands out to me as being fairly different. And that is with this yellow color, because if we go back over here, kind of have a little bit of a yellow, but on this side, once again, we have a bit of a peach. Um, and I know there were peach gummy bears and there were yellow gummy bears. And this is definitely the same gummy bear, but I'm not sure whether the one that was actually being photographed was peach or yellow. But one of these cameras has it wrong, and I'm not sure which one it is. I would lean towards it being the CCD camera has the yellow color wrong just because that was the color that seemed to be wrong in, in most of the other shots as well. Um, not a bad look by any means. I mean, you know, it's maybe it's up to personal preference, but I think... The CMOS sensor in this test may be a bit more accurate in terms of how it's, you know, tackling the yellows. Um, but they're very close. And, and it just goes back to the fact that there's not one that looks more washed out than the other. The colors might not be the exact same, but the sort of saturation level or, or the... Um, uh, you know, sort of vividness or the pop of the colors are both, you know, really being provided by both of these cameras. So uh, I don't think there's a massive difference between, at least for Olympus and the particular cameras that we've tried in this experiment, there hasn't been a massive color difference between CCD and, and CMOS. But having said that, there are some color variances and you might say that the you know, look from the CCD is um, you know, more desirable than from the CMOS or you might prefer this CMOS um, or you know, whatever. So that is our test. Uh, we've looked through the three images that we shot and I have to say, the results are a lot closer than I expected that they were going to be. I definitely didn't think the newer Olympus camera was going to be as bad as Sony was, but I, 
I didn't think that it would come out with images like it did in terms of the color. Um, definitely the idea that CCD cameras are way better in terms of their color than CMOS is a bit more blurred in my personal opinion now. Although there were some smaller differences, the yellow as an example was kind of totally different between the two cameras. And I don't know if that is due to one having a CCD and one having a CMOS, or if it's just the fact that maybe Olympus over the decade plus between the releases of these cameras just sort of fine tuned their color science as those years went on. Uh, that's probably left up to debate. Either way you cut it, both of these cameras produced images that in my opinion were way better than what we got out of the Sony. Now I know some people will also um, you know, maybe mention that they would have preferred to see skin tones or outdoor shots as well. Um, as far as the scope of this test, I really wanted to hone in and eliminate as many variables as possible, which is why I shot it the way that I did. But certainly in the future, if you guys are interested in that, we could do comparisons between these two cameras and have some models or go outside and just see how they handle those types of conditions as well. But in the meantime, I would love to know your opinion on this uh, project and what we shot and um, any feedback that you also have for future ones that we do. Again, I know this was not purely scientific and it certainly wasn't a perfect test, um, but I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. And also which of the images you prefer. Do you prefer sort of the look that we got out of the older Olympus camera or do you prefer the look that we got out of the newer Olympus camera? Keeping in mind that neither one of these really had any edits done to them, so with the power of editing, we could probably improve both of them. But that being said, if you enjoyed this video, or you got anything out of it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. I do produce videos every single week, so that'll keep you in the know for when the next one comes out. Otherwise, in the meantime, I'm Colton, and I'll see you in the next one.